My name is Pedro Arellano, and I'm head of product strategy for Burst. The BI space has gone from an IT-centric, centralized model where everything went through a central BI team to a more decentralized model led by the emergence of the desktop data discovery tools. What's interesting to us is that we've been talking about this for many, many years. We're kind of like the hipsters of BI. You know, We were into governance before it was cool. And uh, now that we see the market sort of moving back more towards a healthy middle, recognizing that, yes, you know, self-service is very important. We can't go back to a fully centralized model where people didn't have any flexibility to do things on their own. But we have to do it in a way where you know, we don't just devolve into this spread mart chaos or chaos of data silos everywhere. And it's very exciting for us to see that sort of the industry or the market is recognizing the importance of doing BI in a way that's well governed, in a way that's managed without taking self-service capabilities away from the users. What we're trying to do is, is take the benefits of cloud, leverage some of the technology patents, and use those to try and deliver the best of these two models. The scalability, the breadth of analysis, the robust data governance mechanisms, combined with a more agile approach to delivering BI, a more automated or smarter approach, and easier to use. And that's really what Burst aims to do. For us, cloud doesn't necessarily have to do with where the application is hosted or where the data is hosted, but how the application was architected. We wanted to introduce a smarter, better approach to BI, and we knew that we would have to engineer a product in the cloud from the ground up that included everything. So Burst is an end-to-end -end platform that includes data connectivity, ETL or data preparation, a full reusable semantic layer, all the way to the presentation layer and, and all the different styles of interaction that you would expect from traditional pixel perfect reports to interactive dashboards, data visualization, mobile, and some other components of which I'll talk about when we get to the architecture piece. Even though we offer everything from data connectivity to our own ETL technology, all the way to the presentation layer, you're gonna see that we don't force you to use our entire capabilities. We can leverage your existing investments. It is a very flexible platform where we can have customers that are using all of the great things that we deliver, all the great capabilities and all of our bells and whistles, or parts of it integrated or, or leveraging investments or platforms or solutions that they already have. The big difference between Burst and the traditional client-server approaches is Burst never ties data or users to the middle tier. This is a patented technology called Automated Data Refinement, ADR. It automatically brings data together from a number of different sources, refines the data, and organizes it into a, a dimensional data structure. For, for those of you familiar with Kimball, it's basically Kimball in a box. What we've done with Network BI is we've taken our ability to deploy different tenants, so we are a multi-tenant platform, our ability to virtualize data, and our ability to federate metadata across all of these different tenants so that we can deploy, think of them as virtual sandboxes for users, but they can be linked to each other. So it becomes this really interesting sort of organic way of growing your BI footprint across the organization where people are joining the network they're bringing the, their own data, they're generating their own insights within their spaces without necessarily breaking anything that other people are doing, but having very personalized custom views of the business based on what they care about. Explode that to dozens, hundreds of spaces and users and teams and departments. And that's where you really see the value of Network BI. This is an end-to-end -end platform, but it is very flexible. You see that down there at the bottom in gray, those are all of your data sources. You know, Burst supports any kind of data source that you might have out there. We can either physically extract data and bring it into what we call the, the user data store, or the Burst data store right here, or we can query it directly using our live access uh, technology where we don't have to bring data into Burst. We can just query the data where it lies. Regardless of the approach, Burst creates this layer of abstraction, a semantic layer. This is also where the networking capability happens, where you have all of these different tenants of BI. Each of these circles is a tenant. These are individuals, these are teams, these are departments. They're working in their own sandboxes, but they are networked or connected to each other. And every single query that they execute goes through this semantic layer to the data. When we talk about our differentiators, there's a lot of capability in, in the product, but the things that we tend to talk about a lot are patented technology, 
the network BI or network analytics approach, our modern cloud architecture, the fact that we have a full semantic layer, and then the user experience. Burst was acquired by Infor in June of last year. It is a new era for our company. It is the third largest business applications company. And from the very beginning, the message from Infor was very clear. We want Burst to remain Burst.